AutoCAD 2012 has made some changes to the ways that you can interact with the User Coordinate System icon, or the UCS icon for short, to modify how the User Coordinate System sits with respect to the model and how its X, Y, and Z axes are oriented. So, in order to interact with this most effectively, you can use a new functionality that allows you to simply click on the User Coordinate System icon exposing what are called multifunctional grips. Now these gripping points allow you to hover with your pointer and get a almost like a right click or context type sensitive menu, but you do not have to right click in order to get this. You simply hover over the grip point itself and the valid options for that grip point are exposed here and then you can select. If you had not picked on the origin of the system, but instead on the ends of one of the axes, of course the options would be different, but the concept is the same. So in practice, to see how we can work with this, let's explore what we can do with the origin of the UCS. Here we hover over the origin point, and let's select the first option, Move and Align. When we move and align, we can simply take this origin point and start dragging it onto the various surfaces of my model. And what you'll see is happening is that the X and Y plane is always forced onto the object that we select so that the Z axis normal is out. So the positive Z is, is away from the surface, which is very intuitive if you wanted to place more entities on here and perform something like an extrusion. That would be exactly how you'd want it to occur. So as we move around the model, we can even go between the different viewports like this. We'll see it locking onto the various surfaces. We see dynamic highlighting as we're moving around, so it's easier to tell where we are. And it even has some new functionality to follow along curved surfaces. So watch what happens as I move along this curved surface here along the lifting nut. You actually see the z-axis remaining normal as the coordinate system is held there. And we would see the same thing if we were working on one of these conduits. So it's very intuitive, very easy to just simply click and allow the user coordinate system to locate itself onto that plane and keep your z-axis normal. Now, of course, if we wanted to go back to the world system, we could simply hover over this point again and click on world and it would go back as if nothing had ever happened. The other option that we wanted to look at, I'll hop back into this viewport, and again, expose the multifunctional grips on the UCS icon, we'll look at the Move Origin Only functionality, which simply allows us to take the coordinate system and place it wherever we would like, say driven by an object snap or, or something on a particular geometry, and place it there that would not do anything to reorient the X, Y, or Z orientation of the system. And again, it would be very easy to get that back to world by simply hovering over the gripping point. So some pretty cool new functionality making it very easy to work with and locate the user coordinate system exactly where you want it using the concept of multifunctional gripping points and hover over controls. In the next segment, we'll look at how we can work with the controls on the ends of the X, Y, and Z axes.